Okay, everyone, welcome back to Dragon Ball Adventure Bugs. And, uh, this time, uh, last time we went to Pilaf's Castle, this time we're going to Kame House. So, we can just go Sorry, I mixed up my buttons. Alright, Goku is training under Master Roshi. And Krillin shows up! Yay, Krillin! He's a lot more important than Dragon Ball. <laughs> and they both train under the Master Roshi. Master Roshi's a lot more important than Dragon Ball. Uh, and this is why I enjoy Dragon Ball more than Dragon Ball Z. Because all these characters that you meet in Z, as the Z Warriors, Yamcha, Tian Shin Han, Chao Tzu, Piccolo, Yes, Piccolo even has a bigger part in this. Because in Z, you're just thrust in. You're supposed to know all this stuff already, who these characters are and everything else. If you don't know it, then sucks to be you. All you need to know is Goku's an alien. So is Piccolo. But all these people get a better backstory. They get more VA things to do. And here comes a nice little... Time to lose you all that you know. Ow. Throw him off the ledge. But yeah, I'm gonna be going through this stage and trying to find a rock that will throw my time away. And yes, I do enjoy this game because it has more of everything I want. More character development, more everything. Even if it is just based off of Journey of the Journey to the West, it's. Yes, I'm gonna waste some time by like, trying to jump up here. Um. I'm sorry for the shopping motion. I don't know why this happens. I mean, honestly, I don't know anything about it. Um, because it was not like that when we were over it. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's something that's going on. I guess it has something to do with, uh, right, running, running, running. With, uh, how I exited it. But I'm not sure. Also notice in this stage there is a time limit. Yes, a time limit. Oh, nothing up there. I wasted a bunch of time. Jump a little. Ow. Okay. I didn't, ah! Didn't actually get hit. Yes, I'm gonna continue. Why not? Right? Oh. Ow. Don't fall in the pit. Okay, good. I'm gonna go in there again and see if there's another tool that can help that trade or anything else like that. Well, um, but yeah, I'm gonna be going until uh, the end of the world tournament for this episode. The uh, world tournament arc is uh, it's pretty short, not too too long. So yeah, uh, nothing in the end. So it's I think. Yeah. 
close to the end of this particular part of the screen. I just need to get it. Oh, anyway. But yeah, in order to make this easier on myself, I need to decide to record the new code. Also, um... favorite stages in the game, but then I haven't played the Ready and Red Ribbon on the stages yet, and I'm going to do that's going to be amazing. I love the Red Ribbon on the art, it's actually probably my favorite part of the favorite part of Dragon Ball. Red Ribbon. Either that or, um, Tian Shin Han's art. Because Tian Shin Han is an awesome character. I don't care who thinks otherwise. God, him or herself, Kim Shinhan, top of my list for Dragon Ball characters. Incredible threat, and then he gets. Yeah. Mercenary Tao. Uh, also, again, if I'm. I'm not trying to spoil anything. Anything like this, just. More story. Hey, Goku, did you find the rock? <laughs> I win this contest. But that one might be a fake. But it's got the old timer's mark right here. Let me see that a second. Hmm. <laughs> I got the rock. You jerk. That's cheating. <laughs> Competitive world is a harsh one. Yeah, Krillin sounded weird. And now I'm just going to start running. I'm going to make mistakes. So, yeah, just so you know, they are going to have it. But this time, I'm cherishing speed over uh, everything else. So, just be forewarned on that. I'm just going to be running through this. That's why I'm going to make perfect sense. You know, not perfect sense, but perfectly true to just pick up the, uh, turtle shells and try to jump over as many enemies as possible. Um, and try not to get hit as much as possible. But that's actually really difficult. In this stage. And, uh, so yeah, I'm just going to keep running around. I'm sorry for this jumping around like this. It's, uh, it, it was caused by an accident. I, my laptop is far from perfect, too far from good right now, so... Um, if it's jumping around on your screen, then I will make sure to take extra care and record it earlier and record it earlier and all that stuff. And that way I just have to, uh, make sure that I record my audio. And then, I'll show you is probably my best way to get through here, except for uh, this part right here where I completely screw up. Yes, I've got to try again. It's not even feasible that I would. Now just jump over these walls. Run, which is actually press forward while you're still moving. Hit forward again. And uh, it's actually a really awkward thing to do in the game. So, bam. Go up, turn around, and uh, keep running, running, running. And this is, since it's a solid bridge, you try not to uh, just run through. Go, uh, go through as fast as you can. Um, careful of that guy, because he will hurt you. Bombs will always hurt you. You've got to absolutely run under them. Um, well, anything else, if you've got the turtle shell power up, dive kick is still your friend, except for on precision jumping parts. But anyway, uh, like here, dive kick is not your friend. Um, there, your dive kick was your friend. I just betrayed him. Turtle shell is absolutely important here. And keep going. Oh. Yeah. And keep going, keep going, keep 
going. There's a turkey up there if you need it. I'm not going to grab it. Because I don't freaking need it. Grab the other continue. Especially if you're having trouble with this. Those continues are really, really handy, and I'm glad that they respawn each and every time. And uh, this is where you fight Krillin for Barak. If you lose here, it's it's uh you continue. Lucky for me, I don't actually lose because this is pretty much the same as the fight against Yamcha. Keep jumping, die kicking, and hit with your combos. He's gonna block a lot more and dodge a lot more, but honestly, he just he's easy enough to do. And Kamehameha, uh, he's uh, the yeah, you know, he's hard for Mia and you will block every now and then. Also, use uh, L for your uh, sorry, my screen went fuzzy again. Right in the middle of the match, like it always does. You use L for your stick, but use the stick sparingly because you only have two of them. Power bones then spin around like that, wait until you make sure that he's got uh, very, very close and you can be able to be hit. And uh, use it to kind of finish him off. Don't use it to get him down, use it to get him down because it's just easier that way. And you get 2,000 points, there are 2,000 points for it. But yeah, stick to your combos, keep high offensive, because that's what Goku's known for. Now you come in, you've got the rock, and um, Roshi says, yeah, I'll train you. So, he says, okay, kill ten of these rocks. You have no health bar here. It's almost impossible not to kill ten of the rocks. Do try to be careful with some of the stuff that's falling, it will kind of damage you, and won't do damage to the rocks, and the big ones will stun you for longer. I don't think it's possible to fail this, but that's because I never have, and I'm playing on normal for everyone to know, and the number goes down by every rock you destroy. And so, there we go. And, yeah, there it is. Kill them in the order that they come down, that way they don't kill each other. Yay! I did it! Yeah, I don't do very good death. Oh, well. Great. What kind of kid is this? I'm not sure which one I like better, the original Master Roshi or the, uh... The, not the Japanese dub, uh, Master Roshi, I don't really know that one. Basic attacks. It basically goes through the basic, basic attacks. Um, then it goes through defense and uh, allows you to... Sorry, I guess I lingered there for a few seconds. Yeah, he's going to teach you about one-on-one -on -one fighting. Um, yeah, I don't know why I was lingering there. It's basically the same as um, as you've been playing up till now. The Kamehameha attacks are still R. You have special attacks with L. Um, dash and uh, there's, there's, there's the only difference is that you can't dive kick. Um, and there's also a block. Um, blocking hard to do. You will hardly ever see me do it because it is so hard to do. But it's kind of like a just card. You press back whenever someone attacks you. And uh, I get backed into a corner here and hit quite a few times. Because uh, I can't really do it. But it's whenever you see the blue hit spark like that. And that was number three. And it will keep your gauge from going down too, too fast. Uh, rush and break. This is what I'm normally going to be ca uh, counting on. Um, to rush in, you press forward twice, and it'll do, you know, one of the forward or if you get backward stab, uh, twice, you get backward stab. But you go in, you got to uh, break the little rush gauge, which is right there. 
then you hit a forward for a combo. That's what it is. Uh, I also think I hit a forward on the monster, and I did. It does damage, but it doesn't do... It's not what he asked for. So, yeah, what it is is you go in, you hit him, and, and then you rush KD, or rush him, and this is the one-on-one -on -one fighting system. It's not horrible, but it gets hard. I mean, really, really hard, and it gets really, really... You'll see whenever I face Jackie Chun, and, um... Yeah, this is actually fairly easy. It's just training some more you back on to, and I missed that one. I don't know why, uh, but I hit this one. Whenever I can get him up and back down, throw him up, and then do like as many hits as you can up in the air. But make sure you connect with them, otherwise you will be left wanting. You can get up to 10 hits total. And then if you charge up a blast on the way down, you can have a Kamehameha ready for whenever they stand up. Okay, now we're going to the World Martial Arts Tournament. And after this, we're going to stop for this episode. Goku wins his way through the preliminaries real easy. And, um, Roshi wasn't expecting this, so he entered Jackie Chuck. This takes heavy liberties with the, uh, heavy liberties with the, um, with the, with the story. Because you're in here really easy, he gets knocked out in one punch. That's why this is the perfect, like, warm-up real match for you. He's really um, Yeah. And there's, like, four hits more. And rough hits. This guy is insane. Second round, Nom. Nom is a character who comes from a desert culture and he's being held, or his people are being held pretty much at ransom by a person who's selling water. So he needs this money to buy enough water, or he needs to win this contest to buy enough water. Um, spoilers for the show, by the way, or for the story. Just so you know. Um, Nom fights Goku. Goku figures out all of this. And he has an existential crisis. And um, Nom himself ends up, after being defeated by Goku, meeting up with Master Roshi. And Master Roshi gives him a capsule. Capsule is a, a giant tank, and he tells Nom to go ahead and take it because he had no use for it, and that water was free up in the northern parts, where he's at. So, I really like that part, it's, it's really awesome. In fact, go seek it out, watch it. Well, just watch it. Now, here's the fight with Jackie Chan. Um, this is, this actually goes a lot better than my first ever fight against him because I had gotten used to the fights up to this point. He was just calm and uh, and just easy as a crap, you know. And Jackie comes along. It's still not too hard if you understand how to fight, but 
and if you don't, then there's gonna be a few problems. I just get, uh... I mean, I'm not bad at the system, it's not a bad system, so... I can't be bad. I'm just, uh... If I had knocked him down there, I might have been able to actually take him out that way. I just keep going with combos this time. And yeah, they're imaging me here. That's too good. I just start rushing down immediately. And that, I just play this. And, uh... Because I couldn't take advantage of rushing him down, he actually gets hit. This is just about dead in the game. So I'm trying to make sure that I can hurt him and I can't. That was my only chance to hit him and I was holding on to the main on main model whenever I should have been rushing. So that's what happens with Jackie Chun. Because he has a two life bar or a one life bar advantage over you. It's actually a lot harder than you think. He's also supposed to be fighting, I think, in the Panther style, but he knows everything that the road he does, so he ends up taking out, uh... Again, this is spoilers for the actual show. The, uh, Kamehameha, he doesn't actually use against Goku, and, uh, what he does use instead is, uh, the Rock Paper Scissors Duncan, uh, technique. As well as uh, quite a few others. He does not go easy on go. At all. Like he's supposed to, you know, he's not supposed to, but because he never really fought go. He didn't know and then well he never does. Also, um the fight goes on so long that uh, that the moon comes up. It goes to the well into night. And, uh... Goku... For those of you who watch the know what the moon is, they know what happens whenever the Saiyan sets eyes on the full moon. And, uh... Yeah. That's exactly what happens of a uh, tournament bout. And so, Max Power Kamehameha destroys the moon. That was the first time. <laughs> Don't know how the world moon got back after that, but it happens. But yeah. Anyway. This is going to end it for me, Falomon23. See you guys next time. Peace.